Hey everyone, for those that aren't aware, the Unreal Engine Marketplace, along with Epic's other storefronts like Sketchfab and ArtStation, have been combined and relaunched as Fab, and with it has come my Souls-like template project. I started this project officially on July 5th last year, and it's crazy to think it's been so long, and that it's finally releasing. I've released other assets before, but this one feels a lot more like releasing a game. It's a lot more personal, and there's a lot more pressure. It's not like a quick little $10 thing that will save you a few hours. I want it to be the best it can reasonably be. The reason I made this project is actually pretty funny. I was supposed to implement just enough Souls-like functionality to make a certain video, that I still haven't made by the way. I just have this tendency to over-engineer, I guess, so it became an actual product. First and foremost, I knew I needed solid data prep and hit detection. Data was the first thing I started on, and then I followed with hit detection, because I already knew frame rate affects tick rate, and tick rate determines how many collision queries will be made. So I had to make the game interpret the gaps. So a year ago, I made this community post of my agenda. We're now on number four. Yeah, I guess the boat videos were a huge unexpected detour. So huge that number five will be making a little boat game and releasing a drivable boats asset on Fab later on. Since the last video, I modified a well-established core data structure. I made videos about that, but they were much more entertainment driven and didn't reach far. So despite it being a simple variable change, like I didn't add or remove anything, it still nuked all the references. Structures are well known to do this. It's the first and only time this has happened in this project, however given my extensive experience with this happening in my game, and due to this being a marketplace product that must allow for customization, I decided to remove structures from my inventory system entirely. I don't want to demand users to be using C++ either, so I've found a way to use data assets for static variables and components for dynamic variables like durability or quantity. For every inventory slot created, a component is also created. This component has a function, get all dynamic vars, which can be expanded with new variables if desired. And with access to the corresponding data asset, you can use functions in the data asset that mimic the old structures I was using. And as I understand it, this would make the whole system demand much less RAM as it scales, because all these variables that include map arrays and everything else were stored in the inventory component. Now, only the dynamic variables durability and quantity are being stored during runtime, and the rest of it is fetched from the single source when is needed. I also expanded the demo level with this block out city section, a platforming section, and then at the end, a demo boss. Now there are also doors, ladders, and buttons. These doors are an absolute hallmark of any Souls game. The main purpose of this video was just to announce the release and talk about updates, but I'll link the first video covering this project, as well as a link to the demo level video so you'll see just about every feature there. That being said, thank you so much for watching. I'm glad to feel the relief of completion. Of course, it'll receive continuing support but I can finally move it aside and continue with some other things like some boat content. Oh, and of course, this means my existing assets have moved over to Fab as well, so feel free to check those out. This project already contains a slightly modified mobile camera input component and Fizmat Interact. The ladders and doors are intended to be a product as well, but they'll show up here first. Alright, well once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one and have a good one.